Trying to get a job in tech feels like trying to get a nuclear launch codes. It feels impossible right now. You probably applied to 100 jobs and you're still searching. I know people who applied to more than 1000 jobs and still no success. The era of learning to code in three months and getting a six figure job is over. If it even existed in the first place, there was a very narrow window of time in history where tech companies had a very huge demand for software engineers and there was not enough engineers to supply that demand. So it was naturally a very thriving market for new developers joining. Now though it's different. And if you think about it, it actually makes a lot of sense. Tech and like software engineering is a very desired career. You have a very good salary, you work on interesting problems. It has like a good status in society because you solve those problems. You have good work-life balance. When you go to the office, like offices are very interesting and cool. You work with smart people. So that as a career was always interesting for society as a whole, for people. The thing that was stopping people though, was the fact that it's a difficult career to reach, right? It's difficult to become a software engineer. It's very technical. You need to learn a lot of things. A lot of people thought like, I'm not good in math, sciences. I can never become a software engineer. So for that reason, the past few years, the past decade, there has been a huge amount of propaganda through social media, through movies, through shows, through like content creators, like showing things through even governments getting involved, creating organizations and agencies to just promote tech, democratize it, make it easier to become a software engineer. And naturally, if you do that for a long enough period of time, you're going to get a lot of people who join this industry, a lot of people who start learning. And then after a few years, all those people, they're going to graduate, right, from college or from their bootcamp or their program or even like online, like self-taught developers. And this means that after a decade of time, what you're going to see is a market that was blooming and where like there was a lot more offers than there is there was a lot more demand sorry than their engineers coming in now the model has completely flipped right like the market is completely different because there's a huge amount of engineers who are qualified and are ready and are inside of the market but the jobs they haven't doubled as a consequence right like more jobs have increased progressively but it's not the proportions are not equal what does that tell you does that mean that that's it, it's over, you need to quit, you cannot become a software engineer, software engineering is dead. No, obviously not. That's just like the flash headlines that some influencers or like media outlets they like to use. The reality is, if you don't think emotionally, you guys are cut benders, right? So you, we always think rationally with our mind. And what you realize is that what has happened to the market is simply that the bar has been raised higher. That's all. So it's the same as what has happened to a lot of other industries where just over time, the bar is being raised higher because there's more people entering it. So does that mean that tech is dead? There's no point in becoming a software engineer. It's all over. No, obviously not. That's just like the, the, the flashy headlines that some creators like to use or some media outlets. But for us as code vendors, we don't think emotionally. We think rationally. We analyze the situation. We think with our brain. The only thing that this means is that the bar has been raised higher. That's all it means. If it's more competitive, the bar has been raised higher, which is the same as what has actually happened to a lot of other industries, right? Over time, the bar just gets raised higher as more people enter that industry. That's all. And if you think about it, where do you find six figure jobs that are easy to get in society? Like if you look around all the jobs that are available, where is there a six figure job, like more than 100K salary that is easy to get? If you want to become a lawyer, that's very hard. It's super competitive as well. You need to do long studies and then it's just overall very difficult. Becoming a doctor, same thing. Super long studies, extremely competitive and difficult to get it. So software engineering is still a very good avenue, especially if you compare it to the two other ones I mentioned. I believe that software engineering is a faster path to the 100K mark. But the question that you might be asking now is, since the market is so competitive, how can I still win? How can I still get that job? Well, the key in any competitive market is always figuring out the path to stand out. It's always that. And if you think rationally about it, when you apply for a job, what is the only thing that truly matters, right? What is the only thing that is going to make a recruiter call you? It's your resume. Because at that stage when you apply for a job and if you have recruiters, engineering managers who look at your resume, the only information they have about you at that stage is just that. It's just the resume. Right. So that's the very first step that you need to 
think about is how can you optimize your resume and one of the most important things that you can do right now to elevate the quality of your resume to elevate the potential it has to stand out is to work on interesting projects that's literally like outside of having more experience that's the best thing that you can do work on projects that use good technologies technologies that are used by companies like react nextjs because then you're gonna have those keywords that match the job description that they want because they also check that that's one thing. But the other thing is the idea. Like try to work on projects that are interesting, unique, not another like to-do list app or like weather app. Try to work on interesting projects that are full stack. We work on the front end, a back end. We're going to be building interesting features. We'll have to solve some problems. Maybe also go to the next level. Like don't just have your project running locally. Try to deploy it. To deploy it online. Try to get some users. Try to scale it a little bit. Then it's going to like the more you do, basically, the more you learn, the more problems you solve, the more valuable it becomes and the more unique it becomes. Good vendors, I hope this helps. Thank you for watching. And if you want to get more advice on how to stand out in the market, more like super actionable advice, check out this video right here.